All right, what's good, man? I don't know if I did it on this channel, but just want to go through my um, CD collection or whatever. So just mind you, all of these are retail, you know, from stores. It's what I like. If you don't like it, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. Um, from this year all the way back to like 2000 and, and maybe 10 or 9. So don't judge me. It is what it is. Hope you enjoy. As you see, we've got all Lupe Fiasco albums from Food and Liquor, The Cool, Laser, Food and Liquor 2. You know what I'm saying? This was a period when he was first on Kanye, you know, album. You know, of course, you know who that is. Waiting on C5. Yes, I got all Wale shit, French Montana album, of course. You know what I'm saying? And mind you, you know how much CDs cost. So pay attention from the beginning all the way through and see how much money I spent on CDs. You got Ross albums. I need to give me another CD book, too. You know what I'm saying? Young Money album, I think, dropped, what, in a week or two? You know what I'm saying? So definitely... I'll be grabbing that. CJ, Jesus. That's dope because it came with the uh, little sticker that was on the uh, album. I just ripped that shit off and put it on there because eventually this how the album was supposed to come with the melted Jesus piece and shit, but I guess he didn't do it. That was kind of whack. So Kanye, you owe us one, man. We want an actual fucking cover. You dig? Yes, I know I said he's pretty boring. But I still like this album more than this. This got some joints, but other than that, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Y'all should know who album this is. Mac Miller's second album. I don't know what it was that year that people were just pitting out CDs with no covers. I, I didn't understand that. I thought that shit was pretty fucking weird. Of course, you know, Big Sean, you know, he tried with Hall of Fame. I think the title... Um, him just being under the good music umbrella and trying to do something that's already been done. He need to find his own lane. Of course, Wolf, one of the best albums of that year, period, hands down. He definitely grew. Earl Sweatshirt album was, it was cool, but it was kind of disappointing in a way. Of course, all of the self-made, you know, I've been told you I've been a fan, man. When I'm a fan of somebody, I support, you know, since day one. You dig? Meek album. He working on another one, so that's pretty dope. Now, how many of y'all can say I went and did that? I went and got the standard version. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, I only did it because this is what I wanted to see. So, you can't say that's not supporting, that's not a real fan of a person's music. You dig what I'm saying? Because a standard and deluxe, it's the same shit. It just deluxe got a couple more songs. And mind you, both of them leaked. But I just had to do it because I thought this shit was so dope. Which is kind of weird when all he had to do was make one album with just all the songs and split the cover in half to where this is facing this. But at the end of the day, it's a hustle, so it is what it is. But you see all his albums. You dig what I'm saying? Of course, you know Eminem. This was the album that I just feel the label just threw together and did T.I. Scandalous. He kind of fell off. You know, this album was great but we not gonna get a part two you know what i mean heavy as a head is supposed to be the next one he who wears a crown but we not gonna get that shit don't ask me why all the color albums you know what i mean at the end of the day this nigga should in my opinion he should just do a um what you call it a greatest hits album because nigga got so many hits you know he should definitely do one of them of course ace hood album you know i had to say this is hands down the best album you know what I mean? I think this probably be his last mainstream album because at the end of the day, Khaled got Vado and shit like that. So it is what it is. See, my little collection. I got to have Nas in there, man. Nas one of my favorite rappers. Kid Cudi. You already know. Like I told you, got all this shit, man. Kid Ink, it just on the whim of being different. Childish Gambino, Pusha T, of course, this, that classic to me, you know what I mean, ASAP Rocky, even this was a good album, you know, Game, Last Two Joints, you know, you got Kendrick, you know, um, Schoolboy, call us my LA page, you dig, yeah, 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 
Sometime be on that pop shit too. Avril Lavigne still a dope artist. This album still was crazy. Lady Gaga album was crazy. Say what you want. Lord, Gene Aiko, you know, the re up. I think I'm gonna have to end up getting this shit over too. Cause it came uh with the bonus DVD and shit and I had gave that away. So I think I'm gonna end up have to buy this shit over. T I Jeezy. He ain't been the same since the recession. I do have the recession. It's just a lot of other my CDs is pit up and um, like a little CD thing because it don't got the booklets. Yes, I know. I know what y'all... Oh, I fell for the hype too, man. This one Wiz fell the fuck off. His first album to me is classic. I listened to it the other day. It's totally different from where the fuck he at now. I don't even know if I'm going to get his new shit. Had to go make a cover because I just don't like my CDs to just... You know what I'm saying? That was just crazy, but I'm mad because they said this was supposed to be re-released last month, and it fucking wasn't re-released, and I was mad at that shit, so if y'all know if it re-released, let me know. I need to take a trip to Best Buy, too. Currency, even though I sit there and say shit about them, the albums, you know, had some cool joints on it, gutter gutter, you know, mixtapes, mixtapes that was in stores and purchased, feel me? How many of y'all can say this? Or this, or this, you know, Wayne, all his, all his albums, I got every Wayne album, you dig? Every one of them, you feel me? So, when I say I'm a Wayne fan, I'm a Wayne fan, you dig? Not a stan, I'm a fan. Of course, my boy Joe Budden, been a fan of his for years. You know, when I first walked in Target, I just had seen this padded room, and I was like, oh shit, grabbed it instantly. Then I went back and seen Escape Route, Slaughterhouse, of course. What can I say? There go Joe Budden again. You know, B.O.B., all his albums. So, I, like I say, man, I support hip-hop, man. R.I.P. to the King. This is a great album, y'all. For real. This is the last Jamie Foxx album I thought was dope. You got Brick Squad, you know, Gucci Walker, When They Was Cool, Chief Keef, of course. That's still a good album. 50 Cent, last album. That's crazy. When this shit came out? What year is this? 2009, y'all. So how many years has that 50 been gone? Five years he been away from the game? Come on, man. Shit. Get the fuck in there. Fuck it. I'll come back to it. Feel me? Classic. Travis Barker. Um, y'all probably don't even remember Travis Barker put out an album with hella rappers and shit. Lecrae. Y'all should know who that is. Birdman last album. That was a minute ago. Styles P. Mano. First album. Classic. Jim Jones, Cam last album, that shit was whack as fuck, came in front, it was horrible, I don't know what the fuck happened to Cam, he fell the fuck off, J.R. Ryder, you know, mixtape, Little Chris last album, this shit was fucking disgusting, it was horrible, man, couldn't believe that shit, whack, Jet Life first album, Gucci old school shit, Cam and Vado, man, Guns and Butter, man, classic, Webstar, just a lot of different shit, man. This was classic. I was in high school when this shit came out. Of course, can't forget about American Gangster, MGK. That he really can write. He's a great writer, man. I can't even front. That nigga can write. Freeway last album. I mean, not last album, but on Rockefeller, Gucci Man, Royce last album. See Hove right there. Yeah, man. I support Fab last album. It's like we ain't gonna never get another Fab album. Yes, nigga, I got Diggy. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. This nigga can rap better than half the niggas that's twice his age, nigga. Real rap. Yeah, I know, of course. You know, he has some joints on there. This shit was whack as fuck, though. This shit was horrible. I don't know why I paid for that shit. It was pure hype. That's the, this one that got Pretty Boy Swag on it. Everybody liked that song. Go fuck who you was. This shit has some joints on it. What y'all know about this? Cameron, the UN, you feel me? Joel Ortiz, this shit was crazy. It had a song on this motherfucker that go dumb. The Dream last album. Not last album, but this is... I don't know. People say it's his best album, but I don't think so. This Player Circle album, dope. 2 Chains, of course, got both his albums. Classic. Mixtape, Pitting Stories and Win Gold. Mystical, of course, one of my favorite No Limit rappers. Plies. When He Was Cool, This Shit Was Bullshit. Sorry, Plies, but that shit... This is actually his last album. He ain't been in store since... Gucci Man first album, to me a classic. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really like that shit. Walker shit was dope. Um, Triple C, you know, and then, yeah. So that's basically it, man, for my collection. 
I had to bring that to y'all. Hope y'all enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. One.